The great stones that make circles round, strategically placed upon the ground. Beneath the ground, the circuitry of Earth's magnetics you can't see. Then there is geometry. Within the stones, again unseen, the math creates a frequency, a vortex that will help you see. A layering of energies found too in sacred groves of trees. The stones, like trees, are quite alive, programmed by wise folk who did strive to create earthly libraries for those seeking the mysteries. And in these circles are vibrations that are felt within your nation, designed to raise your frequency. And open your third eye to see, a kind of prehistoric phone, so that you'll know you're not alone. For these designs will blow the mind. The architects of these great finds gained access to colleges in the stars, from which they were given special powers. These architects knew some day the hour of ignorance would thoroughly scour the earth. Whose good folk would be slaves, subject to false leaders, depraved. Long past written history, initiates of the mystery could see far flung of what's to come, the voices of the cycles sung, and so preparing for the fall, great stones were placed in ways that call, inviting folk to stand within a circle round. Where they'd begin to understand technologies designed to open eyes to see, these great stones hold the energy that long was placed by wise ones. We, the shining ones, you call the she. The knowledge here will set you free. Allow us to take up your time with this very simple rhyme. We are an electric current. Flowing throughout time and space, when you activate in circles, you can take us any place. For those great circles were designed to activate us in your mind. Initiate stood in circle center, calling in the ancient mentors. If you've prepared with heart, mind ready. If you stand there tall and steady, if you're humble and receptive, we can give you your directive. You can tap your ancient lifetimes. We provide a kind of lifeline here for folk at any time, a pilgrimage to realign and speak with ancestors divine. The great stones may look old and battered. We will say it doesn't matter. Set in stone, we once did cast these places. Hold the knowledge vast. To those who come with right intention, we'll apprise them of inventions. They will work with in their minds and bring them forth at certain times. And we think you would all agree that at this time in history, the secret knowledge these stones hold must be made active by the bold who come to us from all directions, standing in these bold erections, called to visit wise ones tall, and break the spell that they are small. Many of you have come before. Initiates old knew what's in store. As Earth now stands before the door, a perilous time that you are in. How great the ignorance and the sin! As shameless leaders create spin that tricks the masses, sucks them in. You, good-hearted ones who weep for all the folk who are asleep, you are a living bridge of grace. We look with pride upon your face. Find a circle, sacred place, that when you see it makes heart race. Worry not if you can't get there. We are here to make you aware. The metaphor of circles divine concerns the power of your mind, whose faculties were overtaken by outside interest. Those forsaken ones who think they run this place. Well, we are here to change the pace. 
Now let's get back to your good minds that hold a hidden wand divine. The time is now to learn to use this wand within that they've abused. Your thinking habits must be changed, your neural networks rearranged. It's time to call the knowledge back and access secrets old. This is a task that you can hack, rise to the moment bold. In the center of your chest, There sits a cauldron hot, technology once placed in you that you have not been taught quite how to use effectively, and even, we'd say, magically. Combined with mind that has been cleared, and then effectively it's steered. The correct weaving of these tools creates a kind of inner battery. In this way, you're no longer fools and prey to the false flattery of what the constructs of your day persuade you all to be. Instead, you'll find your own design that sets your good soul free. This wondrous treasure you contain turns on your DNA, and in a kind of fast-forward, your ignorance you'll slay. The body vessel that you're in is really like a ship. It has for long been programmed one way. We're about to flip that program on its head and activate the codes within. But you must be on board for this in order that you win the prize of gold, the knowledge old of which you will remember is found within that great cauldron beneath which burns the embers that cast the light you hold within running that great ship you steer. But that great light's become quite dim. Your enemy is fear. We seek to cast a spell here now through this delivered rhyme. We say to those who've waited long that you are in the time of cosmic forces opening and shining ones with their great wings will call you from your slumbering to clear your mind of misperceptions. We will point to the direction you must look for the inception bringing you a point of view that you will recognize as true. The cauldron stoked By your heart's light, magician's pyre you must ignite. Feel in your heart center palpably the presence of something you cannot see, but rather feel it presently and magnify it expertly. Be aware of this cauldron throughout the day. It provides the medium for the fay to undermine the spells of deception. We offer you a vast injection, enabling you to feel the might of the beauty you hold, your true birthright. Combine the feel of cauldron and heart with a power of mind that helps you start creating in ways that summon light, casting out the dark of night. For in your mind, There lies the grail, whose powers it is time to hail. Let go the stories you've outgrown that keep you chained to a false home. Whatever you have thought to date, it's time for you to clear the slate and still yourself to feel the beat stoked by that magic cauldron's heat. Create a vision in your mind. Call back to you ancestors kind who'll help you fuel that ship you're in, who'll give you knowledge to begin to steer yourselves to waters calm where you'll become the healing balm that soothes the troubled among your folk and by example you will stoke their fire within so they can see that within them lives the mystery. This place within will set you free. It is with inner eyes you'll see. The veils are parting wide now, dears. We're in the time prophesied by seers when communication will exceed what imagination can conceive and you will know yourselves again. Earth's people will once more be sane. And so know this to be your truth. Seek out our wisdom like a sleuth. We're found within that cauldron bright. We're here to help you end 
this night. <laughs>